Hello YouTube, I am back in Pokemon Infinite Fusion. How are you doing? I'm having a great day, mostly because I get to play this incredible game. I'm having so much fun with it. I've calmed down a little bit, just a touch, since my first uh, day of playing it. Um, all the previous videos were in one sitting, and I was just so jacked up on the game. I passed a bunch of items and passed, didn't realize, uh, or I forgot to sell like the poison mushrooms from the forest, stuff like that. And I, I went back and I've already played a little bit. I'm just letting this roll for a little bit because I just like to watch it do some fusions. It's so fun. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show off some of the progress that I have made. If it'll load. Oh, there it goes. Uh, I, I didn't make any real progress. I'm not going to make you guys, I'll let you guys miss out on too much of the fun. But I did do a very small amount of grinding. Uh, not really grinding, just, you know, fighting stuff that happened to come across along the way. Not really not grinding. Uh, but I did catch some stuff. I caught the sprites are weird. I don't know why the sprites in the box look this way, but I found a cat or two in the Viridian forest because I was clearing out the forest. I got all the items I missed, uh, farmed the mushrooms for a little while to make some money off the poison mushrooms. Uh, if there's anybody yelling at me saying, oh my God, you can make money off the poison mushrooms. I know. It's not a lot, but I'm working with what I got. And it, in case you didn't read the description on the first episode, I'll say this now because I didn't clarify this in the first few episodes. This is normal mode. It's not modern mode. So you're going to, there's a lot of Pokemon that you're not going to see here. It is on hard difficulty. I will be doing modern for sure after this run. I just wanted to do a more authentic run to start with. But anyway, I also have a Caterba, a Caterpie Ladybug. Pretty cool. And both of these sprites are identical. So clearly something is going on here. Also the the bottom, these are both Caterpie Fusion, so the top part looking like Caterpie makes sense, but I think they're both going for Pichu, I'm not sure. This one in particular is very strange. It shows Pichu on top and my Squirtle, you know, just like my current main dude, right? Except it's just a Pichu. I caught an extra Pichu just because it's good for fusion material. Um, but for some reason it has the sprite of being fused with, with Squirtle. It's not, though, I promise. Some of these sprites might be wrong in the box, but if you look on the left side, those sprites are accurate. And then I bought the Magikarp off the guy. It's not a scam. Don't let the propaganda fool you. This is a good Magikarp to get. And, in fact, I should probably bring it with me just to get some XP. You know what? Now that I think about it. Okay. And for some reason, I feel like I move faster sometimes. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm moving so slow right now compared to, like, what I normally move at. Like, sometimes I'll go into an area and I'll just get, like, a speed boost. I don't know if the game's running different. I have no idea what's going on. But the last time I came into the Viridian Forest, my speed kicked back on. That's, that's why I came here. Another ladybug. I don't need you. Get out of here. Um, but yeah, there's still lots of stuff I can't get. Like, the stuff behind the trees you have to cut and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, another Pichu. Holy crap. Um... Uh, I don't know. We don't need that many Pikachu fusions. We already have two other Pichus in the box, technically. Nah, I'm good. Wait, there's a trash can in here? Did I check this? Damn. Uh, if you're watching this, I forgot to do this earlier. Please, I'm still bad at this. Uh, please subscribe and like the video. And share it with anybody that, you know, you're willing to share with. I appreciate any support. Say stuff in the comments. Anything. Tell me how bad I am. Tell me you love me. Internet kisses. I don't care. Just tell me a recipe for your favorite chocolate chip cookie in the con. That's fine too. I'm here for chocolate chip cookies. Chesto berry. <laughs> I, and I'm getting more used to like the things to click on and oh, and I also I forgot to mention I did I did goof and do some things without you guys aside from buy the magic carp and I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to clear out some areas and I accidentally like fought this trainer right here. It was a fun battle we had. Do you want to have another? No, not right now. Um, I don't want to get too ahead on the XP stuff. I'm still trying to form my team out. Uh, I helped cure this, well, help take care of this Geodude. Brock came over. There was a little interaction here. I just dumb and accidentally clicked the dude to talk and it started. It's my bad, but there was just Nurse Joy here trying to help this poor little Geodude. And we called Brock over and he's taking care of it. Nurse Joy went back into the Poke Center. And that's all really that happened. And now we have to go into, I don't know, really know why I'm healing. But now we have to go into Cerulean Cave. Or Mount Moon. What am I saying? Not to relink it. Mount Moon. Uh, well, I don't get refund. This is the guy I bought the magic card from. Uh, all right. 
All right, all right, let's just go. We're going to make some fat progress, and hopefully soon Tyson will be level 20. He'll be our fantastic little Hitmonchan. But in we go. Into Mount Moon. Oh, shoot. There's going to be... Oh, i got to get Pokeballs. I think I'm, like, kind of low on Pokeballs. I totally forgot about that. I have two. No. Oh, no, and I think I spent most of my money, too. Oh, I don't have much money. No! I get two more Pokeballs. Sorry, we'll just go beat up some trainers. And I don't think rematching trainers, for the record, gives money. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it's just a way to get XP. We're going to catch us at least... What? A Zubat? We've already got a Clefable, or a Clefairy. Cle a Cleffa to become a Clefairy. I can't remember the layout. Oh, I see Team Rocket up there. There's our Zubat. I cannot remember the layout of this cave, though. Like, at all. Uh, of course, I hurt myself. Come on. Don't be douche. Oh, my goodness. He's being a douche. Okay. Bubble. Be weak. Good. Good. Get into the bell. Yay. Uh, which way should I go? Uh, for now, you know, I need to fight trainers. So for now, I'm just going to use this black. Also, I've, I talked to a guy outside of a building. He just, after you get the first badge, you just talk to him and he apparently gives you this black flute, which helps lower encounter rates in caves and forests. So that's what it's, that's what I'm going to do. You can't me this wasn't a fair fight at all. Oh, okay. You know, I probably should save real quick. Just to. Oh. Oh, Cleffa. Wait a minute. Am I an idiot? Oh, Igglypuff becomes Jigglypuff. What am I saying? It becomes me Clefairy. What am I? I'm just... I'm so dumb dumb. I never use Igglypuff, to be fair. Or Jigglypuff. <laughs> but I have Igglybuff, so I'll take a Cleffa. If, uh... It shouldn't kill it. Yeah, okay. And I have to be picky with the last two Pokeballs. I've captured... Wait, what?! Cleffa. No. Don't do this. No. Cleffa. You're not that interesting. I already have a Jigglypuff. Ah! Cleffa, stay in the ball. Stay in the... Okay. Okay. I was not going to waste my last Pokeball on it. So I'm glad it stayed in the ball. Star-shaped Pokemon. It's another fairy type, so... That's nice to have, if nothing else. Yeah, like, I'm already getting all beat up. I know, it's because I need more Pokemon that can actually fight. I guess I could use Zubat a little bit. I mean, he still needs healing, but... Ha! Ah, beating all these trainers was almost too easy. <laughs> We're almost invincible as a group. That's nothing. Just wait until the boss's new project is fully operational. We'll be truly invincible then. Totally, dude. <laughs> anyway, we should probably go now. We've had our fun with these wimps, but apparently it's still pretty deep into the cave. We'll miss, it. we'll miss it if we keep wasting any more time here. Oh, and uh, good thinking, putting the rocks in the way. The lesser the chances of having some random brat watering in, the better. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I couldn't help myself. Rare candy, that's fantastic. You better be good. Okay. Well, I don't have a Geodude. Should I really use my last Pokeball on a Geodude? No, I'm, you know what? I'm just No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to be stick picky. Geodude's not exactly rare either. Ooh, and a free escape rope. That's nice. It's, like, actually really nice. Those are expensive. But I don't have Rock Smash. I mean, anyone you actually want to fight? I guess not. Oh, Sand Shrew. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, Clefairy is, like, the most interesting thing you find in here. So, like, Sand Shrew's in... I don't think... I don't think you can get Diglets in here. This is probably about as good as it's going to get. I don't know, though. There could be other things that I don't... Like from Gen 2 that I don't know about. And for the record, to anybody curious, I uh, I never played like Fire Red, Leaf Green, like the remakes of the original or whatever. I never I never played any of those either. So if this game is more like those, then I don't I don't I wouldn't really know. I just would not know. I don't want to do. I mean, he's probably capturable right now, but I want to make sure. All oh, right, he. <laughs> I was thinking he would be resistant to lightning, so it wouldn't do much damage. I forgot it does literally zero. 
I'm just idioto. Um, uh, it's actually really awkward. Cause I, I can't hit it with bubble. That'll definitely kill it. There's no point in doing anything else, and none of my other Pokemon can really do anything to this guy without just dying. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe Zubat could. But we're going to give up Cleffa as, as a snacrifice. No, Cleffa. No. Yes. Zubat. Just because I didn't want Zubat to get hit for free. Astonish is, I don't think it's very strong. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, and he flinched. Fantastic. I'll do it again. Uh-oh. Ow. Zubat no likey. Oh, man. Piddle no likey either. Igly buff. Take one for the team. <laughs> Well, if this, if this Pokeball doesn't work. You know what? Actually, I could try to sing it. Hold on. I forgot. Igglybuff actually does have sing. Survive the rollout, though. I forgot about that. No. no. <laughs> I'm the best Pokemon trainer ever. You don't know my abilities to battle and think, outthink my opponent and catch all the Pokemans. You don't know my greatness. Don't act like I'm not a wizard. And if he breaks out of this ball, I'm going to be very sad. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, all right. All right, we're all healed up again. We just ran out and healed real fast. We're all good to go. I might have to use the black flute again. Also, I don't think the black flute works very well. Obviously, it's not like a guaranteed repel, but it seems to not affect too much, but it probably does do something. I think these bullies were able to defeat us also. Okay, yeah. So all these guys... Will not fight me. Fine. 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 Give me that potion. I need trainers to fight, though. I need money. <laughs> Anything? Hey, secret item. I knew it. You just talk to enough rocks and you get secret items. Wait. Do I need rock smash? Do I have rock smash? Am I supposed to have rock smash? Do I have to go back out to get rock smash? I have rock tomb. Is there another way to go up? No? No? Okay. Uh... Yeah, that's all the routes. I need Rock Smash. Wait a minute. So, Supa, did you find out anything about who was bullying all these trainers in there? Oh, uh, some thugs dressed in black. Okay. Maybe he's going to give me Rock Smash now. Some thugs dressed in black. Hmm. It sounds like just some work of Team Rocket. They're a local group of Pokemon gangsters. But they usually st uh, stick to uh, petty crimes. It's worrying to see them being so bold as to attack Pokemon trainers. Oh, so the path was blocked by a boulder. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Yes. Thank you. Put the DM uh, away, yes. Now let's move a little bit of pulverize boulders that are in the way, clearing the path. All rocks are precious to me, so I don't like using this move. But it's <laughs> Come on, Brock, they're just rocks. But it's valuable to the <laughs> excavators who work for the museum. This should help you go... <laughs> so silly. <laughs> I feel bad for the rocks. This should help you go <laughs> to go deeper into the cave. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting him to say that. Uh, Tyson can. Oh, right, 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 right. My boy Tyson. And it's a fighting move. Yes. Yes. Rock smash. Yes. Tyson. Does smashing these do anything? Isn't it a thing where you can, like, get items? Yeah, heart scale. Oh, my God. That's. Yeah. Okay. Incentive to smash every rock. I have been validated one too many times. A smooth rock. Nice. I can't remember what that one does. I know the heart scale has something to do with, like, move tutors or move relearner or something like that. And there's a Pokemon in this one. Geodude. What's up, bruh? Level 14. Jeez. Jeez Louise, but look, I actually have an ability to fight these rock dudes with Tyson. Stop it. He's still just a baby Pokemon. How dare you? Stupid rock. <laughs> Ow! Get out of here. Level 14. The only reason I killed is because it's level 14. Pretty good XP. Alright. We're gonna go heal real quick because we got beat up slightly. Might as well. Oop. Wrong button. Again, we're gonna go ahead and clear out our... Because I almost forgot to. Uh, we're gonna take... We don't need... We'll keep Zubat because he's actually kind of handy here. He's already level 11. It's not awful. We'll put Igglybuff away. I was gonna keep it in my party to level at some point but and we'll take uh you know what this is actually level nine i mean because buff was only level three and that was a big problem 
But this cliff uh, could be... No, see, I'm look, no, see, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not settling for so-so Pokemon. I want to have some good ones. I have some good ones. We're trying to showcase some good ones. I'm just keeping the uh, Iglybuff and the Cleffa, of course, for fusion fodder, if nothing else. All right, so now we can smash through all the smashables. A Clef Bat. That is cute and terrifying, of course, at the same time. Pretty cool, though. I love wild fusions in... Like, wild... The fact that fusions can spawn wild is so amazing. Black Flute. I guess this is why Brock doesn't want to break the rocks, because it could be, like, a Geodude or something. Oh, Venoshock. Oh, okay. Because it could be a Geodude or something. But I'm not, like, killing the Geodudes. I'm just, like, waking it up and telling it to get the frack out of my way. I thought this was a different route that went a different way. Ah, heart scale. There we go. If nothing else, maybe they can be sold. Yes, fight me. Huh? I was ready to battle these th uh, these these thugs, but they ran right past me. I'm already fired up for a battle. Let's go. My last iris, a jiggly fairy. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's so fluffy. Also, if it knows a psychic move, I'm screwed. But... Fake out. I don't think any of this is going to work. Rock smash. It's not going to do too much. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodiness. Tyson, get out of there. Get out of there, buddy. Come on. Okay, it's not... Oof, it's still pretty bad. Not as bad, though. I bet you this thing has pretty good special defense, too, is a problem. And I can't spend time nasty plotting. I mean, I'd have to use some potion. Okay, alright, I'm gonna do one nasty plot. This Jiggly Fairy is actually kind of scary. That disarming voice hurts. Look at that. If that crit, I was dead. Stop spamming it. Oh, that was a crit. Stop. Just let me attack you. You used disable. That's fine. I didn't. Oh, nasty plot disabled. That's good. Of all things. Thank you. Here we go. That's good. And that was a crit. Very good. Okay. I'm good, I think. Come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> I think that's scary. Dude, hard mode is no joke. Oh, uh, you know, I should check the stats of my homie. Piddle's evolving. <gasps> oh, is it the Squirtle part that's evolving? Oh, it's the Pikachu part that's evolving, I think. Wait. It was the Pikachu part. Okay. That's slightly weirder looking in the face. I'm not going to lie. But I do like the tail. Yeah. The cattle. A little bit different, like I said. It'd be pretty much similar. Very similar, though. I don't know if it affects its stats, though. I'm not entirely sure. And the face is a little weird. I kind of liked his face better the way it was. But it's fine. Also, I should maybe heal. Uno momento. Okay, I'm back. And apparently, leaving the cave and come back resets all these rocks. But I doubt you can get loot from them again. I don't know. Oh, okay. Prove me wrong. Prove me instantly wrong. You, you validate me too much, game. So we fought her. Came up here. Let's go up here. Let's fight this guy. We need to just fight trainers. I'm here for the smoke. Give it to me. Ratatata. A regular, regular Ratatata. Easy win. Easy win. Super effective. OP. Neato Shrew. Look at that thing. That's actually pretty cool. So that makes it poison or ground, so it should still be weak to fighting, right? Right? Critical hit. No, it's not very effective. Wait, 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 wait. Does Earth resist fighting? Did I have it backwards? <laughs> Am I a Poke idiot? It still does, like, not bad damage, to be honest. Oh, but the double kick hurts a lot. Tyson, you need to evolve, buddy. You need better stats. Just gonna tackle. Come on, come on. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Double kick, that's... I don't want to die. He needs the XP. Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, this, this is fine. I should have maybe switched to Zubat, actually. I'm an idiot. I should have switched to Zubat and given him the XP. Ah, yeah, bubble. He's dead. Super effective. Yeah, I should, again, I should have switched to Zubat. I'm just an idiot. I'm, I mean, I'm the Pokemon master of the universe and of all time. Yup. I got a little bit of money. Tyson is messed up. Let's actually switch Zubat in for a bit. See if we can maybe kill a Pokemon with it. Or, uh, excuse me, faint. A steel gem? Ooh. Okay, okay. If nothing else, I could sell that for money. 
Yeah, it's not worth it. Better off fighting a trainer. Hey! Yeah. Fight me! Bring unto me the smoke! Gluish. Gloom... Gloom Oddish? Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately... What, he's poison grass? I guess I can just bite it? Maybe it'll flinch? Yes. Oh, you know, I was supersonic. I'm an idiot. Duh. Confuse it. We'll just... We'll cheese him like we get cheesed. Nice! All the cheese is working. Bite. Confusion. Oh, no. Ow. And that was not very effective either. It's confused. Nice. Nice. We just need to get lucky. Bite. Flinched. Yes. Bite. Confused. Oh, no. Ugh. Can I kill it in one more bite? Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> Zubat, you're a champion. Champion! I'm actually kind of impressed me. I'm legit. Did not expect Zubat to win that fight. Uh, Magikarp, we're going to have to figure out something to do with you, buddy, but... I need to get the XP, EXP shares, whatever. Flippin' need. Flip doodlin'. Okay, we're going to fight this one guy and probably just call it here. The bugs you find in a cave are way different from the ones you find in a forest. Doodly 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 doodly. You're challenged by bug catcher or something, something. A zoopy! A Zubat Caterpie that's so horrifying, but also cute! Oh my gosh, but it's definitely horrifying. Also, it's... Is it flying? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Oh, we... No, no, no. Or maybe if it is, the bug... Does the bug resist flying or lightning? I don't think so. Maybe it does. I don't know. But get wrecked. You cannot stop my Picatol. My Picatol. Pica... Picatol. Pica... I don't know what his name is. But he's strunk. Wants to learn bite. Oh! Bites, oh, that's a Squirtle ability. Nice. Good strong damage. It's dark type. Probably take that over withdrawal. We never use withdrawal. We have some more coverage. New Pokemon. I don't know. Just keep going. Keep going. Zoopod. Zubat Metapod. There's some nice sprites we're coming across here. And he's what? Poison Bug? Right? Or maybe Flying Bug? I think we same thing as before. It's probably just going to be neutral damage. Yeah. So, he got static. Haha. <laughs> oh, shed skin. OP. Flinch it. Oh. It's open to flinch it. Come on. Yay! Bug catcher Robbie. I messed up. And I got 224 for winning. Oh, Picatel is evolving again. So, this is the Squirtle side. So, now it would be a War Turtle Pichu. Pikachu. A War Chu. Good. Oh, he's looking mean now. Hey, look at that. Your Picatel evolved into a Pika Turtle. <laughs> Pika Turtle. Yes. He's getting angry. Uh, but good. We're making good progress. But I think that's a good spot to leave it for now. I'll head back and heal and come back here for the for the next episode. So you guys don't see me running back and forth. But thank you to anybody still watching. I appreciate you very, very much. This series is so much fun. I'm trying to keep these episodes somewhat short so I can actually get them done and edited and out to the peoples. Because uh, there have been plenty of times in the past where I've tried to record something and it just goes on and on and on. It's forever. And it takes super duper long to edit things out or I just end up scrapping the whole thing entirely because it's just ridiculous. And uh, But anyway, thank you very much. Subscribe, like the video, comment, tell your grandmama. Everybody, I appreciate all the support. Thank you very, very much. Internet kisses. And bye.